Hey my Juju Bees, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Today is Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm having a seafood boil. So if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, I also have rice today, which is something I never really have, but we're going to try it out. They say it's good with the sauce. Well, I know it's good with the sauce. Add a little bit of the sauce on there and then eat it. So, it's really good. So, if you're new, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, today we're going to be talking about ethic. <laughs> ethic one. My paperback was supposed to arrive here. I have all of my books on Kindle already. I'm in the process of buying all of my um, books on a paperback as well so that I can have the actual books for my bookshelf library thing I'm going to be making soon. So it hasn't arrived yet. So I said I didn't want to skip today and not do a video. So today I'm going to still do my video on Ethic One. So um, also don't forget if you about the contest is going to be I'm going to pull the name on Friday and then I'm going to record a video probably on Saturday because Friday I have an obligation that I forgot about. I didn't forget about it, but I won't have enough time to record a video and be there. So I'll probably do, or maybe I'll do like a quick video Friday to um, announce the winner of the contest. And to enter the contest, you have to like, share, and subscribe my video. It's two videos ago. So not the last video, but the video before that. Or that video. Comment, share, and your name will automatically be entered in. And then on Friday, I'll just put everybody's name in the hat or something. And then I will draw from there. It's going to be a $25 cash prize. And like I said, every time I get to a, another 100 subscribers, I'll do another giveaway. So, you guys help me out. Go ahead and like and share and subscribe. Even if you don't sit and watch the whole video, please like, share, and subscribe so that I can get my videos out there. So, Ethic 1. So, Ethic 1 starts out with him at the cemetery. And he is at the cemetery with his two children, Bella and Easy. And the cemetery, he's at the cemetery to see his lost love, Raven. Um, Raven actually dies and she died in a previous book so hopefully you've already read that book so you're not shocked but um so it starts out with him in the cemetery with bella and easy is um raven is easy's dad easy's um mom and it starts out there with easy reading to her and this is kind of like a ritual that they do every I can't remember if it's every Sunday or if it's once a month, month but I know they go often so it's they go so often that easy is comfortable in that environment not only is um oh they tricked me not only is Raven buried there but So is Bella's mom, Melanie. And they both kind of died from being in an abusive relationship that they just couldn't get out of. So Ethic at this time is kind of like feel like he's his love life is cursed. Like he is. Please excuse the outside noise, y'all. 
Um, but he feels like, you know, that he's had he's had the opportunity or the experience to experience love. And he did two times, but both times it was kind of like abruptly taken away from him. So he feels like his love life is like cursed. Like he's never going to find that forever love that he can keep forever and ever and ever. So to say the least, Ethic is a troubled man. His soul is troubled. He feels like Raven dying is on him. Um, because he couldn't save her. He couldn't get her away soon enough. So he carries that burden of her. But he has Easy, who she left him, which is their son. And That's who he has left from that um, union. So, by this time, I think Bella is, Bella may be like 12. Um, she's like preteen status. Easy is like seven, eight maybe. Give or take a few. I'm not exactly sure, but he's around that age. And neither one of them, like I said, have a mother that's living. And at the time, and at this time, he also has Morgan. And Morgan is, um, if you don't remember, Morgan is Raven's little sister, who, of course, was left behind once everybody in her family was gone. So he has taken... He has taken... Morgan in and raised her as his own. So he's had Morgan since she was about 12. I think that's when everything happened with Raven. So they stay at the cemetery for a long time. Like I said, Easy Reads to his mom. Bella listens to Easy Read or she reads while he's reading. It's just something that they do. It's like a a, a, a family outing that they do. So they come home. Um, I think it comes home. They go home, and the nanny is there, but Morgan is not. Morgan is. She has left, and she hasn't come back. And of course. Ethic already knows that she's somewhere in the city where she shouldn't be. And so he sends her a message like, Mo, just come home. We, I don't want to have to send nobody to come looking for you. Just come on home. Now, Morgan is a lot like her sister. She wants to, she wants to live her life and she wants to live it without the constant supervision of Ethic at this point. Mind you, Morgan is deaf. Deaf. She is um, 17 at the time. And her birthday is like a week away. And but she constantly does stuff like that. Drive to her friend's house. Supposed to be going, you know, with her friend. And the next thing you know, she ends up at a party somewhere in the city where she ain't supposed to be. But it's just what she does. So he sends her a message and says, like, if you're not home in half an hour, you know I saw somebody looking for you. So please just come on home. Well, she doesn't. She's on her head. I come up to her head. And she stays out. So, Ethic is out of the game, though. He. Sorry. Um. He's out of the game. Like he's no longer, you know, running the streets on a daily basis. He kind of has like enough money to keep his empire afloat to where he don't have to work another day in his life. Him nor his children or his children's children for that matter. So he 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 rolling in dough. He has like an endless amount of money. 
So, but he's still attached to it, you know. People that he deal with, people who do business with him, they, they still have their leg in and out of the streets. So, Messiah, who I love, not as much as I love Ethic, but I love, they like running neck and neck. <laughs> um, It's kind of like Ethic's right hand man. And so he shoot him a message like, can you go get Morgan? Excuse me if you hear my tongue growling like that. Hey, do me a favor and go get Morgan because she out running the streets. So, and fast forward to Morgan. She's at a party. Like I said, Morgan is deaf. She can read lips very well. She can communicate with her friend, Nish, who's been her friend since they've been to elementary school or junior high. But she just kind of like is always chasing them high. Chasing somewhere to belong. Wanting to fit in, I would say. But still be her own unique self. So she kind of struggles with that. So Messiah pulls up to the party like, come on, shorty do up. You know you ain't supposed to be in here. You got your little shorts on, looking all crazy, like, you don't got to do all this. Just come on, it's time to go. She told her friends about, like, huh, I can't never go nowhere. No matter, she got a super crush on him. Like, she knows that he's older than her. And, of course, he's been around the family for years because, like I said, he's Ethic's right-hand man. But she has, like, this huge, huge crush on her. So, when Ethic sends Messiah to come pick her up she like happy you know like yes but she don't want to show it because she don't want to be you know immature in his eyes this rice is like sticky but yeah they were just crazy um sorry the rice up there um she don't want to seem childish so she tried to Keep it slick. And he like, what you doing out here anyway? But she's deaf, so she can't communicate. So she take his phone and she, you know, answer his message or whatever. And then she tell him, like, can I stay with you for a minute? Because, you know, I'm under the influence of things I shouldn't be having. And he like, yeah, you could take a ride with me real quick. So he take a ride with her. She take a ride with him. Go pick up some money. He tell her to count it. She count it. Tell him, he's like, I think he said it's. 50 bands or something like that. And so she signs it to him. And he's like, oh, that's how you say 50 bands? Hell, he's going to have to teach me that so I can know. So they go to a place that's called The Falls, I think. And she gets out, undresses, and goes into the water. And he's like, what are you doing? Like, we we, we got to go. Like, we can't be out here. And he's like, come on, sure, we got to go. But you know, she can't hear. So, he calling her, but she's still going deeper and deeper to the water. So, he like, oh, like, I guess I'm going to have to go get her. So, he go, and he goes out to the water, and he gets closer to her. And, of course, it's dark, so she really can't read his lips, but she can feel, like, his heart beat. And so, his heart racing just like hers, you know. And so, she tried to kiss him. And he like, nah, like, we, we can't do that. Out of respect for ethic and out of respect because Morgan, she's young. She a minor. She's 17. At the time, Messiah has to be about 25. Okay? So, they know they wrong for cooking this rice like this. Look at this stuff together. That is crazy. So, he don't want no problems with the business and the relationship that he has with the relationship that he has with ethics, so he like, no, nah, we can't do that. So she's embarrassed, of course, because she felt like she thought that they was gonna be able to vibe. It wasn't like that. So, so he took her back home. Ethic tried to give him some money. He like, nah, homie, we don't big homie, we don't count no favors or whatever the case may be. So Morgan goes up to her room. You know her feelings is hurt, like. Why would he basically turn her down like that? But at the time, he like, I ain't. Shorty, I'm not the catch. 
Like, you don't break your window down. You break on the man, on the guy like me. Like, I ain't him. I ain't no good for you, basically. But what the side don't know is that she is like schoolgirl crush in love with him. So he take her home to ethic like I get her car in the morning because of course he left she left her car at it's hot y'all. She left her car at the little house party that her and her friend was at. So she just feels like you know like at least I got an opportunity to be in the same vicinity as him. And eventually, I'm going to get him to notice me the way or I want him to notice me. While at the same time, besides, like, I hope I ain't hurt her feelings, but it's just something that we can't do. It's just a line we can't cross. So, um, fast forward to the next day. Messiah comes back. We pick up Morgan to go get her car from the city and she's like so distraught because she's like oh my god like he can't see me looking like this she just woke up her makeup was still smeared from last night and she feel like she don't want him to see her like that but big up anyway Take her to get her car. And she's dropping back off to the spot where he go. Introduce her to some little girl that he's with. She instantly gets jealous. Like, oh, that must be his type. You know, a little ghetto girl is basically what she described her as. And so she goes back home, of course, with the you know, the googly eyes, like, oh my gosh, I like him so much, but he ain't paying me no mind because he just see me as Ethics' daughter, which, to everybody in Flint, that's who you are, you Ethics' daughter at this point. Vinnie Atkins was her original, her biological father, but Ethics is who raised Morgan. So, she take her back home, He take her. she take herself back home, and she kind of asks Ethics, like, what's her punishment gonna be? And he like, it's water under the bridge, like, I don't want to I don't want to constantly, you know, hold you hostage. I just want you to be responsible. So she felt like, who I'm getting off easy, you know. But she still had a thing about ethic. Like, she loved him, cared about him, and was appreciative of him taking her family in. But at the same time, she still felt like an orphan because she didn't have any of her family alive. They all were deceased. Her mom, her dad, um, Raven, everybody was gone. It was just her. So, although she was appreciative to Ethic for checking her in, she still had this chip on her shoulder, shoulder like she was a part of a family that she really didn't belong to. And she carries that chip for a long time. No matter what Ethic tries, had tries, tries to do, Morgan still has this chip on her shoulder. Like she's not a part. So he tell her um, that he has something for her. I think because now it's her her 18th birthday is here, and it's like a whole citywide gala. Like everybody's dressed up and um coming out. You know, half the people are probably just people that I think know not necessarily. Morgan's friends or even people that she would like go to school with or nothing like that because they're older. So, of course, Messiah comes. He brings a date. She's mortified. Like, why would you bring her to my party? You know, because she felt like, you know, they had some type of connection at the falls and that she know he felt the connection like she felt it. But for him, he couldn't cross that line. So, she sent him a message like, why are you here with her? And he like, come on, shorty, it's your day. I ain't come here to try to ruin it. You know, I just wanted to pay respect. Now, mind you, Messiah is a fine specimen of a man. Tall, dark. He got locks. 
smell good. Okay. He is the the book boyfriend dream. Except he real rough. Okay. Rough around the edges. But if you like rough, you know, you can handle it. But so when he came to her birthday party, he was all dapper down in his suit. And she was just like, oh my God, he looks so good. And then here he strolls in with a date. Now, imagine I told you she's 18 now because it's her birthday. But Messiah 25, so he 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 handling the business, grown man business. He ain't really, you know, running the streets with high school kids unless he's doing something for ethic for Morgan. So they had this large party. All the hood spectators come out. And at the end of the party, Morgan's like, thank you so much, Ethic, you know, I love you. But can I go to a party with my other friends if, before it gets too late? He's like, it's not already too late. But before, I'm sorry, I skipped the part. Before that, she was mad at Messiah for bringing the date. So she had texted him and asked him, like, why would you bring her here? And he was like, I ain't trying to ruin your party. Like, where you at? She's like, I'm in the bathroom. He like, just come out and enjoy your party. I'm going to just go ahead and go. So she tried to hurry up and go out there to beat him so that he wouldn't leave. But by the time he got out there, she got out there, he was already gone. So that's when she talked to Ethic and told him, you know, thank you so much for my party. I love you. And, but I want to know if I can go with my friends. I'm getting cool. I want to know if I can go with my friends to another party. If it's not too late. He like, it's not already late. She's like, yeah. Now, mind you, at this time, Ethic doesn't have a girlfriend, but he does keep time with a girl named Dulce. I skipped that. She really, only reason I said something about it, because she did come to the party. She's been around for a long time with Ethic, but they have never had anything that was official. It was just kind of, you know, see you every once in a while. So, she uh, get her chance. Dulce tell him, oh, don't worry about her. She'll be fine. You know, she just want to live her life a little bit. He like, yeah, I see. So, she go with her friend, they get their change of clothes, and now they go to this other party. I'm going to stop right here because I'm going to pick up on the next video. But please, please, please don't forget if you um, to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Come back and see me tomorrow because we're going to finish Ethic 1. Um, and I hope you enjoy. I put all of the links and stuff in the bottom of the, in the description box for you guys to go check out the book if you want to buy it. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye my Jujubees.